sophomore here at the University of Missouri. I'm a broadcast and business major. So, yeah. All right. So my idea is comfort inhalers. Let me give you some statistics about asthma first. Um, in 2009, approximately 24.6 million people in the United States um, reported to have had asthma. So a lot of people are affected by asthma in the United States. Um, if you know someone or if you yourself have asthma, you know it's not the funnest of diseases. Um, approximately 25 or 250,000 people die prematurely each year from asthma. Almost all of these deaths are avoidable. So maybe it was a case that they didn't have their inhaler on them at the time, or perhaps they, um, it just it wasn't available to them. Oh, the problem. Um, the inhalers that currently occupy the market are slightly bulky. I um, discovered this when I was going on runs or when I would go out on the town. It's kind of um, inconvenient to carry this around, and it seems small, but when you have to use it yourself, you realize it's not the best of sizes um, to do active things and to carry around with you everywhere. Um, there's also a stigma associated with carrying around an inhaler, so um, I've done a lot of research in. 43% of adults admit that they dislike using inhalers in public, um, and also there's dependency on inhalers, so you need to have it with you at all times, but if it's um, inconvenient to carry around, some people may leave it in their car or somewhere that isn't the easiest for them to reach. Um, let's see here, the solution. I've come up with a design for a sleeping, comfortable, stylish, and trendy inhaler. Um, it's kind of different, and it provides um, more efficient delivery of medication as well as a full time protection so you'll be able to have it on you at all times. The design is made to be, you know, to be very versatile and be able to be, um, be with you at all times, be on your side. And it even accommodates athletes to attach to a waistband so it's very versatile. Um, the target market are young people um, for various reasons, whether it's allergies, asthma, whatever reason they're using an inhaler, um, and basically active members of society. So if you're going on a run, if you're going out on the town and you don't want to have to carry a purse with you or you don't want to have to use a little fanny pack, um, I, this is a perfect thing. Um, um, there's also a nurse's perspective. I've talked to many nurses and doctors in the area. Um, one of the main people who I've been talking with are allergy and asthma consultants at Columbia, Missouri. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar. Um, through this research, I predicted, or we predicted, that 70% of asthma attacks could be avoided if the inhaler were readily available. So whether that means if, if an inhaler was on them and it could have gotten them to the hospital, or you know, it would have um, been beneficial if an inhaler were on them at the time. Um, they also admitted that patients sometimes find having an inhaler embarrassing and it affects their willingness to bring it out with them in public. Um, I've created, well, my dad has actually helped me. I wish he could be here, but he's in Chicago. Um, he has come up with the prototypes himself, um, and I've helped, obviously. Um, and we've made a few changes along the way. The first one we made, we were really happy with, but um, there were some things we wanted to change, and we're talking um, with a lot of manufacturers here as well as overseas. Um, a lot of the stuff is so confidential. We're, we're in the works of writing a preliminary patent um, with my patent attorney right now. Um, but um, we found a lot of manufacturers we like, but there's not um, specifically someone yet who can give us exactly what we want. Um, but we're still searching and we are very hopeful. Um, I've established an LLC in Missouri. Um, we have an official business proposal. I'm in contact with many manufacturers as well as my dad. Um, I'm a client of Spencer Fain and Britt and Brown, and that's the patent attorney in Kansas City who I work with, Kyle Elliott, if any of you are familiar. Um, I'm also a client of Susan Moser Consulting. Um, she's wonderful. I think she's, you probably know her through culture. Um, I meet with her every two weeks, and we kind of discuss the progress as well as um, you know set goals for the future. Um, I'm also in the works of creating a media package for investors and advertisers because I am in broadcast and I love putting videos together. Um, and the end user would be individuals with a business or, or with a busy lifestyle that no longer want to you know be tied down with having to carry their inhaler. Um, target market would be about 14 to 26, but it all ranges because a lot of people have asthma, but tend to grow out of it as they become older. Um, there are some similar findings that I'd like to acknowledge. Um, in England, Adam Bates in 2004 came up with a similar idea, but his was for a um, powder dose medication. So um, a little different, um, but that's kind of an example, like Advair is a powder dose. Um, there's like Falcon, Susan, and Kyle, and that is it. So if you have any questions. Does the product fit with? Does the product fit with all with the current inhaler 
the medicine that goes into curtain inhalers, are those all a universal size? Um, actually, we're, what we're trying to do is change the shape of the canister. So the pressure vessel will change size as well as the valve. Um, so that's why we're working with manufacturers. But the same medication will be able to be um, in the canisters, just different sizes. I mean, changing the packaging that a drug comes in is actually a very major uh, mm -hmm. challenge, and a lot of drug manufacturers are very resistant to do that for all the qualifications mm -hmm. that have to go. So have you actually spoken to drug manufacturers that uh, make uh, inhalable medications? I have not talked to any pharmaceutical companies yet just because we were um, kind of, we want to get a design right now and then run it past them just to see what we were officially working with. Um, that, that is probably something. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.